All right, guys, welcome back. We will see today how to create a tunnel and how we can uh, create more complex intersections in doing so. So uh, we can go back to performance mode. We can uh, show the terrain again. And what we're going to do, we are going to create a road that goes like this and go inside the, the land into a tunnel. So in order to do so, we will simply uh, duplicate this bit here. And we will create an intersection here. So we reduce the size here. And this will be a single line. So we have to set vertex crease and bevel weight to uh, half their uh, original value. We are going to stick it like this and just have only the uh, support merging here. And we are going to do like something like this. Okay. Then we are going to take this one and do the same here. We are going to reduce here. And here we are going to set to 0 0.05 and 0 0.05. Okay, we are going to extrude and set it up that only the uh, support is merging here also. Now we can, uh, oh, sorry. We will just move this a little bit and we will start drawing a turn just like so let's see how it looks okay and then we want to bring uh, this vertex at the same height as this one so i will use uh, both of these tools and simply reduce the uh, proportional editing like, like so and so th this looks okay to me i'm disabling both of them now and then we will simply extrude uh, this, uh, set it up here, and uh, we will bring this closer here. And we will simply, after that, merge both of the road and the support on here. Now today we are going to see a more advanced uh, intersection. And this intersection uh, is useful when you want to uh, convert uh, a two lane but two different edges into one single edge okay so as you can imagine it's not quite uh, easy to do this because originally everything wants to stick to uh, uh, a proper lane but there is a way to do it and I'm going to explain it to you right now so what you want to do you want to have a transition between a two and a, and a one and the way you can do it, you can simply extrude it, uh, extrude the, one of the two uh, lanes like that and reduce the size to zero on this end. OK, we will do the same with this. So we extrude it and we reduce the size on zero here. OK, and so here we are going to set up 0 0.1 as uh, usual for a two, a two lane. And then we will uh, simply uh, bring this one here. But you see it's doing, a, there, there are overlaps, so we don't want that. So the way to fix this, you select this vertex and you also set it up to zero, okay? And so this will stick into this corner here. And if we bring this here, we want this to stick here and this to stick here, okay? And now if we simply extrude this like so, bring this back closer so everything connects correctly, as you can see now, we will have uh, a two lane with different edges uh, transforming into a single lane. OK, so the project is quite uh, slow because of the uh, markings generator. So I may uh, delete them at the moment just to show you how you can do all of this. And uh, as you can see, you can we can clearly see it in the wireframe, uh, both the both of the triangles and the, the big one have merged into each other, into a single mesh, and uh, the two lines transform into just one, okay? And so this way, we have done our uh, custom extraction. So again, this doesn't really make sense since uh, this should be like so, and this should, you know, like uh, come from the other side. But, you know, you can always have a uh, waiting uh, mid lane in the middle for people to just go like this 
coming from this direction, but that's not the subject of this video to make sense in a road design way. So we just wanted to see how we can create some custom intersection and also how we can connect uh, both of those, uh, how we can go from a two to a single lane. Next, we are going to create our uh, channel. Okay, so we go back to performance mode. We will uh, show the, the landscape, original landscape. And we are simply going to extrude something like this and probably bring uh, everything closer. The thing for the tunnel is that you want, you want your transition between uh, the tunnel and road to happen somewhere where the uh, terrain is uh, going over the road. So what we are going to do, let's say this is going to be our tunnel. And we are going to dissociate at a place where both uh, will be straight and here we will select all this and we will go back to uh, vertex group we remove road and we assign tunnel okay as we can see it already changed and now uh, I'm going to simply delete uh, those objects guys because they are way too heavy for us now to deal with it and so once we get out of performance mode you can see that we have this going on we have the tunnel road under the, the terrain, but nothing is happening really. So what you want to do, you want to come into the uh, options of the roadscape object, and you want to uh, activate Boolean tunnels. By default, it is not activated because this is a pretty heavy uh, task that we are asking the system. Now, roadscape uh, Boolean uh, tunnels are not optimal uh, at the moment yet. They are not perfect. Some errors like that can happen. This is easily uh, manually fix fixable, but we can also fix it by simply moving around uh, the base geometry. So we can go back to here and simply select it, this like that and probably bring it just here. And as you can see, it's already better. We still have this uh, bit that is not perfect. So we will try to as well, just bring it closer again, make it uh, better. So this is quite better. I can go with that. This is no big deal. This is uh, easily, uh, easy. we can easily deal with this manually. So once we are happy with our tunnel entrance, we can now simply uh, uh, enable display tunnel case. And this will uh, generate our uh, base tunnel case uh, on which we can, uh, we can use later in order to do a lot of stuff manually. So this is basically how you can do a tunnel uh, in Roadscape, guys. The good thing is about a uh, tunnel in Roadscape is that the tunnels uh, are uh, worked just as the road. You can increase the the width of the of the support and the road in the tunnel as well at any point. And you can also create extractions in a tunnel. Okay, so you can. Uh, you can have uh, a set of uh, complex uh, tunnels going on and uh, it will work okay so if we just go back like this you can see so the road is not connected because i i've made it re really quickly but you can see the the principle everything is uh, made to work just as it works outside of uh outside of the tunnels so let's just try to fix it we can remove display case so we can see exactly what we do we want this to be like this we want to bring this like so, tighten up the transition a bit, make it so that only the support uh, stick to itself. We can go back outside of performance mode, display the tunnel case again, just wait a minute. And as you can see, we now have a transition going on inside uh, the tunnel as well, an intersection. So. You can uh, go as crazy as you want uh, with the tunnels in Roadscape and this is how you can do it. So basically you just want to also uh, do the same process here outside of the tunnel where you want it to end. It's basically the same stuff that we have been doing here so I'm not going to show it. So this is how you can create a tunnel in Roadscape guys uh, and a custom intersection with uh, two roads connecting it into one. 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.